What's going on, everyone? Daniel Rodriguez here. It's time to review Aquarius Season 2, Episode 6, titled Revolution 9, Spoiler Review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It should take me about three minutes to recap it, give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm sorry I'm a few days late for uh, Aquarius, man. I just saw it. It's already, what, Sunday? Sunday morning, at least. By the time I'm recording this, it's four in the morning. Uh, and I'm a few days late. I'm sorry. Friday, an album dropped, and I've been busy, you know, Friday and Saturday trying to get my review up or write my review and then do it later today. Uh, but that's why I've been so busy and I really just didn't sit down and watch Aquarius. But either way, we're going to do this right now. Uh, yeah, you know, honest, real quick opinions about the episode itself. It was really slow. It was boring. It, it, it jumbled around places. Too many storylines. It was too, whatever we want to say, convoluted. It was, it was too much. There was too much on the plate. Uh, there are some interesting things about this episode, very things that made me smile, very things that was like, oh, that's cool, but then there are a few that were just like, that was a waste of time, and, you know, this is so much more, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, let's get right on to it. First off, <clears throat> We open up in 1969 where this maid, she arrives at the house and says pig with blood on the door. 16 months earlier, she's at the place where Dennis and Terry, Terry's house, I guess, the producer, and Manson's there, and the, the maid, the girl, she grabs the plate, and, you know, Manson is like, stop, stop, you know, I'm not done with that. And then she's like, oh, I'm sorry, all right. No, no, you might as well take it anyway. Your black paws touched it. And, uh... God damn it. I was like, God damn it, Charlie. Oh, man. And of course, he's such a racist, but Jesus, damn it. Are you black paws? Man, that's just messed up even more than that. So anyway, they really never did a like, significant why she was 16 months there. And, well, I guess she's still the maid 16 months later, so wow. Anyway, this girl seduced these girls, a bunch of the Charlotte Charlie's girls seduced Terry. Shafe is questioning this guy, and there's this girl's body that has been found, and they think it's the girl that was like bound in a bunch of the photos earlier in the season that Shafe has been getting, or that... Sam has been getting Bobby Kennedy. Uh, Sam is at Bobby Kennedy's like office where the people that work for him and his friend, uh, Sam's friend Sean Boyle, is actually like asking him. He's saying like, "Ah, oh, these two hookers, they, you know, they're they're, they're black, 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 uh, they're blackmailing me." And uh, you know, Sam's like, "Oh God, all right, well, let me, I'll, I'll look into it." They're like the Irish, and then he goes in a whole speech about his wife, about how she's pregnant, like. Yeah, she had delivered four kids. She gained a lot of like weight, and you know, I mean, you know, apparently this fifty-year-old guy needs something younger. So, yeah, she graced you with four kids, but yet yeah, you're not grateful. You're just gonna go on to the young. Uh, it, it, it's sickening. Very, uh, very uh, sickening. Anyway, that happens. Grace does this speech for this whole Nixon thing. Honestly, I've never really cared for Grace, and now that last week that his ex-wife. Died or, see, that's what's so messed up about Aquarius is that everything's just kind of jumbled around. Okay, so his his son's mom died. His his ex like you don't even show the face or she died. Like there's no there's no repercussion. There's no feeling that it happened. It's kind of like move on to the next story. You have to continue from where you left off. And what about Charmaine? Where's Charmaine? They haven't even showed her for like three weeks. Either way, Shafe is very sick. Uh, the guy's uncle is actually a lawyer that the guy that his name's Healy the one that he actually played Shafe he played Sam he was like alright I'll, I'll tell you my friend you could reach him through the number and he'll come down to the station it was actually his uncle who's a lawyer Shafe is doing heroin he's high uh, he, he was going through the withdrawals and he ended up giving in and doing more heroin which is very sad his wife ends up finding the needle uh, that's not going to be good for this uh, later in the season Sam gets a name of the girls of the hookers and he ends up going after the pimp where he ends up breaking the pimp's nose Manson hits Emma uh, Sam meets Bobby so Sam meets Bobby and Oh, Sam meets Bobby Kennedy, not just many Bobby, meets Bobby Kennedy, and it, I love how it's kind of shadowed out, you know, because the way that they did it, you know, they had a little CGI or whatever to make it look more professional, but uh, they don't really show Bobby Kennedy's face, only the real photos, but they never really show, like, you could see it, but not clearly, like, in, like, you know, within a whole scene. It's very shaded out, uh, and I like that kind of mysterious look to it. Ken likes Bobby. It's kind of very obvious. We know Ken is 
for both guy and girl he's by. So you could tell he's kind of in that like mood for Kennedy, you know, and he's supposed to be on Nixon's side, but hey, you know, wrong. I mean, Nixon or Bobby Kennedy? Uh, well, uh, yes, I, I'd, go, I'd go for Kennedy too, honestly. Nixon, uh, he's like, he's, he's, he's like ugh, 90 years old when he ran, so... You know, I I think anyone could understand if he they were in a uh, Ken's position. Anyway, Sean's wife is uh the one blackmailing him. There's this whole thing with that. Sam hits the pimp. Oh, the pimp ends up being missing. It turns out that um Sean's Sean ended up having people go and kill the pimp and get rid of him. Sam tells Sean that you know the wife's been doing it all that and he's escorting Bobby Kennedy and all of a sudden this guy comes out and he ends up shooting Bobby Kennedy in the back of the head. And I really thought it would have added more tension to the scene if when Bobby Kennedy's brains were blown out that it would have landed on Sam. I, I thought that would have been a bigger, bigger impact. Uh, but they, they never showed it. Uh, also, Manson sings Cease to Exist, which if you've never heard Cease to Exist, uh, Beach Boys, they have the Beach Boys version and they have the Charles Manson version. Uh, but I, 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 isn't there, I may be wrong, but it's like, I'm your kind, I'm your kind. But there's a part where I believe, I may be wrong, it may have just have been the video title, but it really, it, it really feels like the Beach Boys say, I'm your kind, I'm your kind of Nazi. You know, so it sounds like I'm your kind, I'm your kind of Nazi. I may be wrong about that, but anyway, it is actually a good song, a uh, very interesting song. I've I, I've seen it. I saw it about two weeks ago, and then they do it on the show. I'm like, hey, there it is, because right when he started saying, uh, you know, get up to know, and then I'm gonna make that kind of melody right there in the beginning, I was like, shit, cease to exist. I was like, oh my god, I was like, wow. Oh, it's crazy, you know, you never expected to see it on the big, uh, on the screen, so. Anyway, in 1969, the maid is screaming at the end, and she's like, Oh, Bobby! I, it's, uh, it's, it was horrible, that, that, that shot there. Either way, let me give you the pros, kind of tell you what I enjoyed about the Aquarius episode. First off, the pros, I gotta say, the whole Bobby Kennedy thing. See, those parts were fine, you know, it wasn't boring, or it wasn't really dragging out. It kind of did simple little things with Bobby Kennedy, and it, it would have been more interesting for Sam and Bobby to really interact more. Uh, I think the strongest part was when Bobby was telling Sam, he was saying like, well, what do you think, you know, about the streets of L.A., and how do you think you could help and stop it, and all these things about like, well, I'm, I just stop bad people, and I, I keep them away from the good people, I disagree with you, I made some water, you know, how the Kennedys talk to that, oh yes, uh, and they talk like that, and they do their thing, and I thought it was interesting to see Bobby Kennedy, or in, in, like, away on the show, and implement some actual uh, pictures. The ending, of course, with Bobby Kennedy getting shot, I think that was a very, uh, it was still intense, don't get me wrong, uh, because you knew it was coming, you knew it was kind of building up there, and it definitely uh, worked out very well. Manson singing Cease to Exist, Gethin, uh, Gethin Anthony, uh, as, again, Manson, he's perfect in here. Now, where's my chair, Pop? I mean, I just, I love the way that he plays the character so much. He's, he's drawn, and you you love to hate him, you hate to love him. Uh, it's just both backwards, man. Shafe, also, what they're doing with Shafe is very interesting now. I really wish he had his beard back. That's just it's not growing on me without the beard. But, uh, man, he was doing, I mean, withdrawals. But, jeez, man, going back to that heroin is crazy and what they're doing with Shafe. I mean, those were the interesting scenes there. Obviously, you could tell he's very high when he's with his wife. So, it's not hard for his wife to tell that he was high. And Sam was funny. David Coveney has been the most funniest this season, uh, more than Aquarius season one. So, I'm very happy with the writing. Whoever's writing the, the, the stuff for Sam Hoda, uh, Hodiak, uh, it, it's really awesome. I'm very happy with what they're doing with Sam, of course. But what I don't like what they're doing with Sam is, and part of the cons, is, again, they are too much storylines. They do that storyline with... The guy comes in, and the uncle, he's the lawyer, and they never go back to that storyline. Thank God they never go back, because I don't care about that storyline. And then they, they do the, the murder case of the girl being gagged and everything on the photo, and that's another storyline. And then they do another storyline, and then they, they never really go and resolve the other older storylines. They start, they start a storyline, and then they never finish it. That's what Aquarius does, and they're still doing it in season two, and it's really pissing me off. The end shot, the girl was like, Bobby! I, 
I don't understand. Bobby Kennedy, you mean, Bob, it sounds like you're saying Bobby. Bob Kennedy died two years ago, so why are you yelling Bobby? Or stuff like that, unless that was Bobby Kennedy. I, I don't understand. I, I don't know. I, you know what? It's just like, God damn it, just stop. Uh, that end shot didn't work for me, honestly, as you can see my frustration. The case of the lawyer, that whole storyline, like I said, there are many slow scenes within this episode. Now, it's not the worst Aquarius episode, but the only inter entertaining scenes is when the Bobby Kennedy and Sam, him getting shot, and Manson singing. Those are really the only entertaining things about this whole episode. Also, Ken, they shoehorn Ken in here. And what about the guy he shot in the beginning, his friend that was like, they, they covered up the story. Are you ever going to show him again? What about the other characters? Ladies and, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm going to end up giving this Aquarius episode a C+. I thought it was... An okay episode. It wasn't good. It really wasn't that great. It was just an okay. This is probably my one of my least favorite episodes out of the season. Next week even looks it looks dull. Next week, they left him for dead, but now he's back. Like, really? Like, why is this guy back? What does this have to do with the, the Aquarius? Like, move on with like stuff. I'm just like closing up old storylines, but not from episode one. I mean, come on now. You you're just kind of. Flipping out there a little bit. I'm being honest. I, I, it was okay episode. It, it was still boring and slow and not that much fun as the other past weeks. Comment down below to me what you guys thought about Aquarius. I'd like to hear your opinions, your thoughts, and uh, hopefully we could converse down below. Make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the review. Share with your friends, definitely your girlfriend. And uh, as always, do not forget if you want to see more content, more reviews, more Aquarius every single week, hit that subscribe button. Until next time. Bye-bye.